Hey guys, it's Holy Guardian here, bringing you a brand new series of Destiny. <laughs> yeah, of course, brand new. Um, I'm gonna be bringing you some Iron Banner gameplay and some uh, some some of my insight and just general thoughts on Rise of Iron, which is coming out this fall. Um, I'm on my Warlock right now, for those of you that care, and we're going to be doing some Iron Banner today, because it just dropped, and, um, yeah. Remember, though, uh, I am on last gen, so I don't really, I don't have access to everything, but that's actually something I wanted to talk about, too. Um, okay, here. Uh, just, I'm not on next gen, so I won't have access to different activities, so this gameplay may be a little, you know, bad graphically, and also gameplay-wise, just because I am a huge disappointment. <laughs> like, I, I haven't played Destiny in a while. Like Battlefield, I haven't played Destiny in a while, and um, I don't think I'm gonna do too well. But anyway, on next gen consoles, I think that yeah, cool. Next gen consoles, they've been out for what three years now? Four? I'm not sure. Next gen consoles have been out for a while now. And, what the heck? And I think it's pretty great that, yeah, I just see my load out there. I think it's pretty great that it exists on more than one console. The problem I have with next-gen consoles is that things are starting to become exclusive. And I don't think that's fair to people who don't have the money, like I, like myself for example, people who don't have the money to go out and just buy a console, you know? Um, I do think that it is fair that certain gameplay mechanics, not, not mechanics, certain aspects of gameplay like draw distance and render speeds and frames per second are different, but I don't think that people on next gen should get content that people on last gen can't. Which brings me to Rise of Iron. Um, Rise of Iron is a game, not a game, an expansion that comes out this fall, and it's going to bring about year three, but it's next-gen exclusive. And this is kind of a, it's kind of an issue in, in the Destiny community for everyone who doesn't have a next-gen system. It's, it's like, why would you why would you force someone to go ahead and purchase a console if they just want to keep up with one game? You know? Like... If they want to keep playing Destiny, but they don't have- they don't think it's worth it to get a brand new console, are they just supposed to- are they just supposed to be done with Destiny? Like, that's not cool. Um... I think it, I think Des, uh, Destiny's Rise of Iron has a lot of promise. I think that it could do very well, but I think, I just think that it's a little unfair to expect those who haven't switched yet to switch if they just, just so they can stay up to date with the console, not the console, but the, the story. Huh the story. 
Um, I'm excited for what Rise of Iron is supposed to be bringing to the table. <coughs> Sorry. Um, it's supposed to bring a whole new raid, whole new social space. Um, it's supposed to bring a brand new enemy. I think all that's real cool. Um, saying um a lot here. Sorry, keep on forgetting to turn off my volume. We're doing this. Anyway, here we go, guys. Gameplay is starting right up. Um, anyway. Let me know what you guys think about the whole last gen versus next gen exclusivity for the same game in the comments below. Just tell me your thoughts on it. Tell me what you think about um, Destiny in general. Also, down there, if you don't want to do any of that in the comments, tell me what your guys' favorite game is. If I have that game, I might try and play it. And if I don't, then sorry. Like, I don't know. Anyway. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm using the Party Crasher and the Grasper Malik, arguably the two cheapest weapons in the game. Yeah, one of my friends just joined. Oh, I should have made the fire team closed. Dang. Well. That was fun. Anyway. Frito and <laughs> great. Lol. Okay, guys, um, this is why I want you guys to tell me in the comments below what I should talk about. I have absolutely no idea what to, what to say right now. Thanks for watching the video. I mean, that's cool of you. Boom. Destroyed. So, in other news, um, school's gonna be starting back up, so the days that I record may be very infrequent and inconsistent. Oh, wow. I, I'll probably end up recording a lot of videos in one day, so, like, if I sound redundant in what I'm saying at the end of my videos. That's most likely that's most likely what's going on there. And also I'm very busy with other with my personal life slash lack thereof. Um very busy with that because I got some real important stuff going on right now that I gotta take care of. my friend again anyway yeah so I'm getting a couple invites I think I'll play two or more ga uh, two or three more games before I get offline but this will be the only game I record for you guys yeah it's gonna be interesting Uh, please, though, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It, uh, it really helps me out. Try and further myself. And my... Get you guys... It'll go a long way to getting you guys better content. Oh, wow. For those of you that don't know, um, what YouTube works is you have to get 
either a certain number of views on a video or a certain number of subscribers or both before they monetize your videos and I'm nowhere near that right now so unless I can get my videos monetized some other way I can't really bring you guys anything new so yeah it's gonna be it's probably gonna be for a while just a lot of Destiny and Battlefield and Smash Brothers and Skyrim probably that Stormbringer. Come here. Yep. Yeah. Oh! I just recently saw, again, the trailer for Battlefield 1. Let me know what you guys think about that. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. What's really funny is that game gets a whole lot of hate. Um, that well, it, it's been getting a whole lot of hate, along with the Modern Warfare Remastered Edition. And I think that's just because you can only get remastered with the $90 Infinite Warfare game. Um, but yeah, that game's been getting a lot of hate, and I mean, I guess. I understand somewhat why it's getting hate. It seems really ridiculous. But then again, everyone, it's, the running gag is that Call of Duty is the same game over and over, but now that they've started to introduce something new, they're getting a lot of, getting a lot of hate for it. Like, I, I don't understand what they're supposed to do. I, I kind of understand what, what they're trying to do, and I don't understand why people are getting so mad about it. Um, go ahead, type, get all the hate comments going. Come on. Show me what bad YouTuber is. Show me how much I don't know. Prove it to me. Come on, guys. Oh, I'm just kidding, please don't hate on me. Maybe if you hate on me, whatever, but, uh... Oh my gosh. If you hate on me, whatever, but, um... Don't go hating on people for no reason. Yeah. I like how I said I talked about Rise of Iron in this video, and I talked about Rise of Iron for two minutes, and then I did nothing else but rant. Gosh, man. Barrero and his lightning maid. Ha <laughs> ah, My voice cracked. Ha <laughs> ha. So funny. <laughs> Shut up. And here I was thinking that we'd lose this match. I just, I want to know what they were thinking with not doing anything. That's fun. Thanks everyone for getting in my way. back. No. Alright, guys. Well, that's it. We won this game. And I'm not going to stick around to see what the rewards are. But I want to say thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more Destiny content. 
remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Anything, thoughts, anything you want to see next. And that's, that's it. I'll see you all next time.